Join the Hiker Trash Husbands and the Oklahoma Hiker as we tackle Arkansas's longest loop hike, the Eagle Rock Loop. Roughly 30 miles long, we did the hike in two and a half days over mountains, past rivers, and enjoyed beautiful mountain vistas. The Hiker Trash Husbands are in. Arkansas with the Oklahoma hiker. It's hot. And it's hot. Why it's, are we doing this in the sun? It's about 95 degrees and uh, we're about to embark on a 28.6 mile. That's what I'm going to yeah, call it. I'm going to call it 28.6. It's like a two day thing, a one and a half. Yeah. Eagle Rock Loop. But we're starting late. Given how warm it is, we're going to go slow. We're going to enjoy the swimming. Hydrate. We're going to check it out. We've heard a lot about this loop. Uh, Paul has been wanting to do it for ages and he's finally getting to do it. So Two night, three days. we will bring you along as we uh, explore a part of the country we've never, ever, ever hiked in. Yeah. So see you along the trail. We're hoping the truck's still here when we get back. Here we go on the Eagle Rock Loop. Looks like it's going to be a cell phone-less trip. We have officially come down the side trail to the Eagle Rock Loop. And we've walked miles. Not quite. But we are now, which way are we going? We are going left. All right, so we got to the river and we turned, what direction did we turn, guys? Left. Left. So we're going to do the loop counterclockwise and kind of head north to begin with. Or north, what is this, like northeast-ish? Anyway, we'll take you along. We have reached our first uphill and it's hot. Is it hot? It's warm. Very warm. The name of the game on this trip is going to be hydration. We have intersected with Forest Road 106 at what, 1.5 miles? About. Look both ways. Whoosh. Look back. Beep, beep. Woo! All right, we're gonna do this. It's not exciting, it's just something. The exciting moment when you realize you're now going downhill. Hooray! With a little more than two miles of hiking under our belt, we have come to the Albert Pike Overlook, and that's Mo yelling in the distance, because. I guess he found another overlook that has excited him. But uh, this one is right on the trail. Paul and I are taking a break while Mo took his pack off and is wandering up the hill to try to find a better one. But I tend to think that's pretty nice. And I guess from here, we drop back down into the river valley and then follow the little, little, Missouri, Missouri, little Missouri River for a little while, or a long while, or some while, <laughs> until... Uh, we go somewhere else. <laughs> Don't worry, we've got gut hook or whatever, far out downloaded for the Eagle Rock Loop. And uh, we've got our paper maps and all that stuff. So not completely uncharted. And Paul, um, in much, much, much wetter weather, had tried to do this loop, but uh, couldn't do many of the stream crossings. So did the mountainside. Did the mountains, but not the streams. So we're, we're knitting it all together and uh, having fun. I think we're going to hike for about another hour and See where we can find a camp and call it a and eat. We have made it to the Albert Pike area where we will turn kind of left and follow the Little Missouri River here. The road walking at the uh, Albert Pike Recreation Area, but I think we're quickly back in the woods and then we follow along the river.
Well, we have our packs off. And that means that we have found our camp. It is time. Are we excited? We are very excited. Oh. We're a little sweatier. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's 100 degrees, or 95, so <laughs> wouldn't want to fudge. Yeah, there's a little bit of water. So you're from New York, and this is a little different, right? Mm, it's a little warmer than normal. Yeah. yeah. Well, we acclimated them at the house with no a week of no air conditioning and the Best hottest week of the year, so. Best way to do it. Woo! <laughs> Winning. All right, we're going to set this up. made camp, got all the tents set up and hammock, and uh, just wrapping up dinner, and uh, I think we're going to go for a swim in the river, and then probably call it a night. It's uh, warm and humid, and um, yeah, about somewhere between three and four miles, depending on whose GPS you believe, uh, for the first day. Um, we'll have a much bigger day tomorrow, but we'll also just take our time. We didn't get... Uh, started until um, almost five. It's about a four hour drive from, from Paul and David's house. So we had a, a long way to get here. And, um, but now that we're here and we're in the woods, it's great. And uh, so many bugs making noises that we don't have at home, kind of interesting. I'm gonna finish up my dinner, clean up, and then go uh, take a swim. And uh, we'll see you in the morning. Hello and welcome to day two of the Eagle Rock Loop adventure. We have just enjoyed an incredible night under the stars, had owls all over last night, and I'm working on some coffee. Also, have the tent down, and so does everyone else. So, uh, we are working our way to the trail today, and, uh, you know, fueling up with some coffee first. Making oatmeal, eating oatmeal. I'll go further back. Good morning. He's got, he's got T-Rex arms. <laughs> Meanwhile, I spit my back in. Hey, this is real TV, boys. Real TV. We're off. Woohoo! We have had breakfast. What do we have? We had oatmeal. Bagels. Oatmeal, bagels, coffee, all the things. Anyway, we've got nine miles to the northwest corner. And it's hot already. <laughs> anyway, we are not going to be putting in 12 by 12 today because it is what, nine o'clock? 8.50. 8.50, yeah, we can't say nine o'clock. That just feels awful for getting on the trail that way. 8.50, not so bad. All right, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna show you. The next big stop is, well, we've got like lots of water crossings, uh, but then Little Missouri Falls. So, interested to see how that's running in such dry conditions. two miles from our campsite and we are making our first crossing of the Little Missouri River and got to splash off. It was hot. It is hot. Try to cool the body down. I think Paul is taking a swim right now and uh, we probably will join him in just a minute but uh, walking so far pretty easy. The trail's been overgrown in a few places. They're easily followed. Yeah. White blaze. One tricky spot at a stream crossing where the trail the seems to meander around and but just and I follow think the partly blazes. that's because of uh, past floods exactly beautiful trail though so far beautiful. so good there is poison ivy for those of us who look at it and catch it so I'm gonna rinse off just to get that off me so till our next site see you later well this is a nice way to continue a hike Taking a little dip in the Little Missouri River, uh, deep enough right here at this crossing to uh, float around and enjoy ourselves. Beautiful spot, 
and the water is actually uh, quite a bit cooler than it was um, downstream at the campsite. So it must be getting closer to the, the beginning of the river with colder water. So very refreshing. Um, wash some of that sweat off. And now we can uh, drip dry as we go along. We are hiking along. Well, that was very mean. Jeff is jabbing a crawdad. He knows to Jeff, him. what do you have to say for yourself? Respect wildlife. I didn't get dinner. <laughs> no dinner for us. Dang it. We're up to the intersection of Little Crooked, Crooked Creek with the Little Missouri River. And we are gonna take a break. You can tell Mo is already in the water. Hopefully he has pants on. He does, good. <laughs> We're gonna take another swim, relax a little bit. Hey boys, what time is it? Swimming swim time. time. Woo! Good We're gonna time. do this. Head break number three, two. Nice swim two. in the shade. When's our next one? In an hour. Actually, I think it's Little Missouri, Little Missouri River. River the Falls. Yes. Falls. That's yeah. probably where we'll do lunch. We're, just, we're trying to stay as wet as possible today. Hot days like this, you try to not do huge miles or if you need to do big miles, you spread it out over many, many, many hours. Excellent, excellent dismount. We have made it to Little Missouri Falls. I have not seen it yet. I can kind of hear it, but it's a pretty dry time. So we're gonna see what this looks like. We've made it to the, uh, I guess what, falls on the Little Missouri Little River? Missouri Falls, yeah. Little Missouri Falls. Kind of dry. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna have a snack and continue on. There he is. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Body glide time. No chafing, no chafing. Lunchtime, people always ask me, what do you do for lunch? Well, it depends on what I'm feeling, but today we're doing pizza combos, some spam, and I might, I just might open the beef sticks, but we're gonna finish these first. What do you got? I have a disgusting honey turkey stick <laughs> and a single com uh, combo that I stole from you. Isn't that the worst when you're trying to choke down something? And what do you got? A so huh? The complete cookie. Mm -hmm. Lenny and Larry's? Yeah. Good stuff. Chocolate chip. It's good. Mm. <laughs> Preen boys. Get pretty. <laughs> and this is how everything fits back in the pack. Voila. Y'all, the Little Missouri Trailhead in Little Missouri Falls is hopping. Look at this. And there are restrooms. Skull. All right, we are cruising right along. Uh, once we left the Little Missouri Falls parking lot, we had 4.1 miles to the Athens Big Fork Loop. So we just continue around what's gonna be the northern side of the trail from here.
break number five, six. A while. Wow, it's hot. It's very hot. Oh my God, it's hot. Uh, for us, this is as hot as it gets for hikes back home. I'm Likely fantastic. One. Well, this one, this one's like, things are just. No, it's hot. It's hot. So we're listening to our bodies and resting when need be. We're on break and the boys have decided that it's time for me to know what Lady Gaga's Chromatica is. We're crawling. <laughs> Slow and steady. It's hot. It's the after 3 p.m. drag. This is where we all need afternoon coffee. I think I've lost them all. <laughs> We're trying to eat stuff with caffeine. It's hot. Beautiful, beautiful, but hot. Here comes Paul. Within a quarter of a mile of the Athens Big Fort turn off, and we are happy for a breeze and cool little mushrooms. We have reached the intersection with the Athens Big Fort Trail, Ooh. and we are tired, and we are ready for food and a refill and a break. So we're gonna do that. We're a little haggard. Okay. We stopped for her <clears throat> final water source for a mile and a half, but this mile and a half is uphill and downhill, I think, right? Up and down. We're into the mountains on the Eagle Rock Loop. My hope is as we go up, we get breeze. The break continues. I've pumped four liters of water. How many of you pumped? Or four? Gotten four, Jeff. Two, but I'm going to do two more. Uh, so we're all going to go with four. Anyway, yeah, we're Hydrate. eating. We're hydrating. It's probably close to 100. We've been in the creek over here. Back here. Might be able to see it. Oh. Anyway, it's been a good break. And from here, we're going to head that direction. And it's going to take us up some mountains. Six to be exact. Break time almost over. Time to climb mountains. Are you excited? Woo! Yeah. And we're climbing. First hill, Hurricane Knob. Not too bad, it's just, uh, it's more the humidity. That makes it a slow go. I took an energy gel. <clears throat> and 15 minutes after you take them, you get a surge of energy and the boys weren't great ready yet so I'm like I need to move well we have gotten to the high point of I believe it's Hurricane Knob uh, and there's a little spur trail off to the right to see the Hurricane Knob itself a little vista so we're gonna see what that looks like right about now here's a hint Here we are on the Hurricane Knob view. Yes. Did I get yes. it right? And Hurricane Knob is behind us. That's the knob. That's the knob. So we're like, I don't know, 11-ish miles for the day. Yeah, it says 11.8. And I think we're at we 2,000 feet. 18. We all needed quite the recharge down at the stream uh, to get up the mountain because now we have several up Five down. more? Five more. Five more mountains to go up and over and down. But thankfully there's a stream between each one. So we'll continue drinking lots of water and, and the trying to the get day the passed. cold water all over us and shiver yes. in it. So it's in the evening, so we're gonna keep boogieing along to get as far as possible today. This descent is rigorous. All right, we have passed Straight Creek and we are headed up McKinley next uh, and then going to descend 
to Long Creek where we will probably go ahead and set up camp uh, because I don't believe that Briar Creek uh, on the other side of the third ridge is as reliable a water source. So up we go. to camp 14 miles for the day very warm my tent Mo's hammock Paul's tent Paul Mo making some dinner and I think we're gonna be jumping in the creek shortly so long hot day but puts us in a good position to finish out tomorrow it's 8 15 and it's time for bed after midnight, with time. Swinging in the hammock. Huh? I said swinging in the hammock. Finishing up, getting ready to head out. Got the bags ready. Last day, and we are off to get to the car in about 12-ish miles, so. We're hoping it's maybe a tad cooler, but somehow I doubt it. So lots of water, lots of swimming. Got a few mountains to go over and then I think more or less flattish. Hopefully we shall see. Over the first mountain of the day, Briar Creek Mountain, and down to Briar Creek and the campsite that was down here, we made a good choice last night in that the creek is basically bone dry. So there were a few pools way upstream from the campsite, but uh, it would have been quite the trek, and we wouldn't have been able to get that little swim in, which I think was really key to us uh, recovering last night. Until it's hot, already sweating away. Uh, I think we've got four more mountains to go over with the longest and steepest for last because like who wouldn't want that for the last one and then after that it's I think about six miles of uh, following rivers and such back to the trailhead that we started at which is the winding stair trailhead. We've made it to the top of Leader Mountain. What do you think? Well there's terrible lighting. There is terrible lighting. Um, it's the trail. I do like how the uh, trails here don't go straight up and straight down. But yeah, the top of Leader Mountain kind of sucks. Kind of. <laughs> There's no view. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff was being very diplomatic about it, but also very observant about my crappy lighting decisions. Oh well, it's a trail video. Deal with it. Mo, say hi. Hola. What do you Beautiful think? Morning. I'm it loving, is. I'm loving, the, I'm loving Arkansas. He's loving Arkansas. What's not to love? You just gotta pace yourself out, eat lots of calories. And cake. sweat a lot. And sweat Drink. a lot. Lots of water. Sweat a lot. So much water. Much better lighting. Get in there, boys. We are descending Leader Mountain. And this cute little knob came into view. I don't know what it is. Look it up. Down we go to Blaylock Creek. And high point number two done for the day. We're down in the river, Creek Valley. Definitely hotter on the bottom than it is on top. We got a nice breeze today though, which is making it nicer. The boys are ahead of me. <coughs> I am slow on the descent. I'm in sandal, so that's another reason why I'm slow on the descent. And Eagle Rock Loop is tricky footing. It's rocky. Um, interesting the way the rocks here erode, they break off in like little squares with points on either, on all four corners. But, um, yeah, you just gotta kind of watch where you step and so you don't get stabbed in the bottom of the foot.
Here is Blaylock Creek. We've stopped and gotten some water, rested, enjoyed the water, cooled off. And now we're gonna go up Brush Heap Mountain and uh, then Eagle Crag. So, and then I think we're done with mountains. We are climbing. It's getting hot. Almost 11 o'clock. And when Paul said <laughs> he found this most unpleasant when he did it once before, we were so looking forward to it. There's a slow go. Well, Brush Heap Mountain is doing what Brush Heap Mountain does. It's going up. And up and up and up and up. And we're still climbing. And it's hotter. <laughs> All right. This has been the hardest point of the whole trip for me is this climb. Whew. We're eating. Mm. We have made it, I don't know, halfway up the mountain. I'm going to go with a little more than that. And we're like, we need to break. And then Paul's like, it gets worse. <laughs> uh, Mr. Sunshine. Right? Break time's over. The slog continues. It's hot. We're almost there. Though. We are to the switchback, which means we're relatively close. Still smiling. We have made it to the notch on Brush Heap Mountain and uh, it is hot and that was a heck of a climb. So we were all a bit wiped. Um, however, the two of them are a little less wiped than me. So they're going to take the side trail or they already have. Uh, it goes about two tenths of a mile out to what is supposed to be a viewpoint. But uh, I am going to enjoy some water and some snacks. And just, uh, there is a bit of a breeze, so just kind of take whatever I can get. Um, not overdo it. It's uh, kind of crazy, this weather. Um, for us northerners, totally <laughs> unlike what we normally hike in. So it's all about pacing and water and hydration and snacks and um, just kind of like listening to your body because it could be very easy to, uh, to do too much. So I'm going to relax. Let Mo and Paul go out and enjoy the view. And uh, then we go down to Saline Creek. And then we go up. I forget the name of the mountain, but that is where Eagle Crag is. And uh, so that is the last mountain and the best view. And then we drop down to, I forget the name of the horse trail, but to the horse trail. And then we've got, I think about six miles on that horse trail back to the winding um, stairs trailhead and uh, Paul tells us there's a great swimming hole just before we get to the truck so looking forward to that but also looking forward to some streams lower down to just sit in and cool down we have made it to what I'm gonna call the top here and we are rewarded with this awesome view look at all that contour oh yeah Arkansas looking good How do you like it? Sweet, pretty sweet. We are finally headed down Brush Heap Mountain and the down is much better than the up is. So we're thankful for that. We're going down to Saline Creek where we're going to refuel. And then we have just a bit of an ascent up Brushy Mountain. I can't remember. Busty. Anyway, Busty Mountain. Uh, anyway, we're gonna head up there that is where the Eagle Rock Vista is, and we are going to take another break there before descending down to the Viles Branch Trail. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Paul. We're going to Eagle Rock Vista. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. Hey, Jeff, we've made it to the spur. It is back this way. What do you think, Mo? Hmm? 
We are at Eagle Rock. Quite the view. But a little warm in the sun. So I think we're all gonna retreat to the shade. Mo already has his hammock out and has taken a power nap. And uh, I think Paul and I will enjoy the shade before we head down to the trail junction with... Ooh, Viles Branch. Viles Branch Trail which then takes us back to the truck eventually. Talk about the lap of luxury. Enjoying the hammock? That's why I bring it. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Well, we have had a good time up here, haven't we? I think so. It's a little yeah, warm. It's except hot. for the fire ants. Look yeah. at your shoulder. It's so hot. All right, we are heading down. We're going to the creek and it's time. Yes. That means we're closer to our swimming hole. Yes. We are at the confluence of the Viles Branch and the Little Missouri River. It's uh, kind of a cool place. Of course, it's in the sun, so it's about 4,000 degrees. Um, there is the two rivers joined and going down. It's some cool rocks and stuff. We're gonna get some water, swim a tad, and uh, I think we have all uh, reach the point where we're just like hoping the truck is around the corner. <laughs> Last two miles of the trail follow the Little Missouri River, and we're going through this uh, pretty cool gorge. Um, I think the swimming spot is uh, just up a little bit, but uh, time for some water refill. It is hot. I know I keep saying that, but gosh, it's like being slowly roasted. <laughs> so for the time being, I'm gonna fill up some water and then uh, filter, and then hopefully get to the swim spot. Now this is a way to end the Eagle Rock Loop. Right? Good way to end it? Woo! Woo! The best. Now send the car to collect us. <laughs> With burgers. Well, we are almost done, and what a trail it has been. How have you enjoyed your first Arkansas adventure? Yes, I've enjoyed it. It's hot. <laughs> it's very hot. Well. But the trail has been wonderful. It's yeah? a great diet plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't imagine how much weight we all lost, and we're going to find out this evening, I'm sure. And put it all back. Instantly. Yes. Back to where we started. Woohoo! What do you think, Mo? Hot. What do you think, Paul? I thought it was fantastic. So Paul has been trying to do this hike for... Beautiful. A couple years. And it I, always seems to rain or something happens. I tried it and there was a flood, all sorts <laughs> of stuff. So. so this is the first time he's done the whole thing with us mm -hmm. and introduced us to Arkansas hiking, which I can um, reliably say is hot. 
And so... Mm -hmm. Beautiful trail, though. <laughs> I think we're a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end of day two. It's like seven o'clock. Yes. We've been hiking for a while. So we, we hiked uh, a little bit the first night, a whole bunch the second day, and a whole bunch today. And now we are back at, what's the trailhead? Uh, Winding I'm stair? delirious. Winding stair. Winding stair trailhead. And Mo is ready to take a nap. So we're gonna get going. Back. We can successfully say that we have completed the trail. Double filming. Double filming. We will open a portal to the next dimension. We did it! Woo! Woo! Roughly 30 miles and two and a half days later, we finished our trek of the Eagle Rock Loop. For more backpacking adventures, follow our through hike of the Northville Placid Trail.